Hi, and good day. Knuckle cracking, back cracking, neck cracking, joint cracking. Wow, regardless of what these sounds sound to you, is it good or bad? Let's talk about knuckles. I take the knuckle and I crack my knuckle. There are gases inside the joint, like all joints of the body. The gases are dehydrated oxygen, where the oxygen is mostly dissolved, but it's mostly carbon dioxide and nitrogen. These are the gases that's being released from the joint when we crack the neck, the back, or a joint, particularly you hear it quite often when you crack your knuckles. The main difference is that when you look at the knuckles, the knuckles do not have these nerves that come off the spine. It doesn't have the neurovascular bundle of these arteries and these very important neurological structures that can really do harm if you did something to your neck and you cracked it and you affected that nerve or a, or a vessel. So when you crack your knuckles, you're generally dealing with a joint. Your knuckles do not get bigger and generally you're not going to get arthritis. But anytime you overutilize something, you're stretching ligaments. Remember, there's a joint capsule. The joint capsules uh, composed of synovial fluid along with the gases inside the joint. If it's your knuckle, if it's the neck, if it's the back, the knee, the hip, the elbow, regardless, regardless of where the joint is, there are gases in there. And, why, and by, by shifting and sharing a joint, you're releasing the gases, causing that popping sound. But the, the most important thing is, if you stretch ligaments, then you can get ligamentous laxity. It's like taking a rubber band and overstretching that rubber band. And if that rubber band is loose, the joint becomes hypermobile. It becomes uh, loosened. It does not actually work the way the joint is supposed to be working. So the big question is, by cracking your neck, you are taking a risk of doing damage, of stretching the ligaments. Remember, the neck is being held up by, a, is holding up the head so therefore the weight of the head being 12 pounds and obviously a lot heavier when we go forward is being equally distributed upon the joints of the neck. If you disturb the neck and you make those ligaments loose along with possibly hurting a vessel or affecting a nerve or actually herniating a disc because the discs are between the vertebrae, you could be doing a lot of harm. I hope that answers your question, but if you have any, you can send them over. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.